Okay, just let's address this idea of PSD to HTML and Bootstrap Studio, okay? Which is, for anyone that doesn't know, it's Photoshop to HTML and as in a framework, Bootstrap Studio. Um, PSD to HTML in the UK and America has not really been used that much in the last four to six years. And I've actually only done one site that I've ever, I've done it that way. One, it's bloatware. Two, it's very difficult to put into a bootstrap or a foundation framework and you cannot find you you, you cannot really find PSD to HTML in the bootstrap or foundation in unless you're going to pay money for it. So that is just a no-no. I wouldn't even touch it because I don't think it's a very good technology. I never have. Um, it's just a lot of bloatware and it's very, it's not that easy to do. I just don't understand why why people are doing it. However, when I've been on Facebook and uh, Facebook groups on about uh, web design and stuff, in India, Pakistan, and the, uh, the Indian subcontinent, it's such a massive thing. For some unknown reason, I, I don't understand why, but if you people want to be a cut above, you have to do, forget PSD. Photoshop is a stupid way to do it. Um, Anyway, on I got an email today on from Quora, if that's how you pronounce it. How do I convert PSD to HTML without any framework? Something called Pixel Crayons, and this is the uh, one. Uh, Pixel Crayons uh, do a PSD to HTML, um, and it says PSD to HTML conversion services are highly acknowledged all over the world. I responded. Acknowledge over the world, really? Question mark. I don't know anyone who is still using the outdated technology. You must be from the Indian subcontinent without looking. And I go to um, here, India, two pixel crayons website, India's most trusted. Um, I have nothing against our family who are Indians and Pakistanis and uh, Africans, so I have nothing against anyone from anywhere in the world. Well, this technology, you, you, it's it's gone. You don't need it anymore. When you're doing things like Bootstrap Studio, is that takes that all away from you. I don't know why you would do Photoshop. And to do it then and do the slicing and all that, it's, it's just completely bonkers to me. But anyway, so you, you've got all the themes and things there that you you know you could do for, for everything. Um, why why have three steps to something when two will do? It's, it doesn't make sense. Much more easy by doing it in a um, in a responsive web design foundation straight away. It doesn't I don't, I don't understand really the question. So if you want to be a cut above and not charge five to ten dollars and stuff for your services, if that's your if that's what you want to become a web designer and stuff like that, you've got to get away from this Photoshop thing. Um, People who are offering the services like Pixel Crane, I don't know anything about Pixel Cranes, but obviously they're still way behind. It's a nice website, actually, this, but um, they're still way behind the, the tech. Um, they're doing it because of money, obviously, and you know that's that's their that's their work. But I'm not making any money out of this. It's just uh, it's just fun I do on the for. Okay, so forget this business with. Uh, Photoshop to HTML, do it the proper way and it'll work in your, your favour as, as time goes by and you learn more stuff, okay? So again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.